I'm definitely the most nervous about this one, but I'm also excited because I need to prove this to myself just as much as I want to prove it to you guys. So here we are. Hey guys, I'm Sohan. I love wearing fun clothes. I'm a mid to plus size 14 to 16, so definitely not skinny by industry standards. And I really just hate how the fashion industry isn't that size inclusive. It really sucks when you go to buy clothes, you find something you really love, but it doesn't even come in your size. It's just a horrible feeling and I've 100% bought them anyway and kind of saved them and hope that I'll fit into it later. It's not a great state of mind and I'm constantly on a journey to unlearn it as I'm sure so many people are. There's nothing wrong with being skinny. There's nothing wrong with not being skinny. What there is a problem with is the industry making you feel like you can't wear what you wanna wear. So when I saw this trending Pinterest board where people save outfit inspiration for when they're skinny, I thought, why not jump on the trend? I initially saw this on Maddie's channel and I also understand that Jamie Karema started this trend. I'm gonna be going through and picking out three looks, recreating them at home to prove that you don't have to fit the skinny stereotype to wear the clothes you love. Let's get into sussing out what we can find on these Pinterest boards. I'm searching through Pinterest and honestly, I'm overwhelmed with a lot of baggy pants and tight crop tops. I think you can definitely recreate that. There's also a lot of baggy clothes, like big tees, baggy pants and chunky shoes. And another trend that's everywhere is this bodycon dress, like the tight fitting dress. This literally makes me the most nervous. I don't really wear tight dresses, although I do actually have one in my wardrobe that I bought a few months ago and I haven't actually worn it yet. So maybe that can make its debut in this challenge. I'm gonna go put some outfits together and come back and we can talk about it. So I'm just currently getting ready and doing my makeup for look number one. This is the inspo I'm gonna be working with. I found it tricky to kind of find options in my size, but honestly, what's new? You know, it was a lot of back and forth, like finding pants, my size not available, finding pants, my size not available. Ah! Luckily, ASOS came to the rescue with these stunning pink pants from Monkey, so I'm actually matching my makeup to those pants right now. When I was looking through the trends and the photos, like the kind of main part of the outfit was accentuating like a tiny waist, which I don't have. So I'm gonna pick some cute accessories to make the outfit about something more than just a skinny body. Not that there's anything wrong with skinny bodies, I just don't have one. So let's finish this makeup look and get into it. <laughs> I love this outfit so much. I think one of the biggest things I love about it is how comfortable it is. I think that's such an important thing with fashion is to make sure you physically feel comfortable because if you feel comfortable, that's gonna come across. I love a monochromatic look and I love how everything I'm wearing is pink. And I think that brings me a lot of joy, which is what fashion is all about at the end of the day, you know? So here we are, outfit two. This one is a fun one. It's a bit of a baggy kind of look. Growing up plus size, like you're always told like not to wear baggy clothes because it looks frumpy or whatever. I feel like baggy clothes are only really celebrated when they are on stereotypically skinny bodies. So it makes sense that this would kind of be a popular trend. We should be celebrating them more on large bodies too because you know what? Baggy clothes are comfy, they're versatile and they do look cool. So we should send it. It's interesting because the clothes that I've chosen today, um, these are both from my wardrobe, but I've literally never worn them together before. So this is definitely something new for me. I don't know how it's gonna look, how it's gonna flow, but you know what? It's all about the attitude and they're gonna rock it today. I love this outfit so much. It literally feels like pajamas because it's so comfortable. That gives it a 10 out of 10. I love how my hair matches the top. It looks so effortless. It falls really nicely. Would I repeat this? 100% I would. I literally think I'm gonna wear this the next time I go out. Wear baggy clothes because they feel good. That's what I've learned today. So this next outfit is definitely the one that I'm most nervous about, if I'm being honest. We're getting style inspo from Queen Dua Lipa. She's got this really bodycon tight dress, strappy heels, which are, they look a bit more dainty. I've gone for a chunkier fit, which I feel like is more flattering for me, but it's still got the lace ups that we're gonna wear today with this dress, which was actually already in my wardrobe. I've had it for a while and I've never worn it out. Today, we're gonna give it a moment. I need to prove this to myself just as much as I wanna prove it to you guys. So here we are.
This look is so much fun. I absolutely love how it looks. It was definitely nerve-wracking wearing a bodycon dress, but I feel like you just gotta get into it and it kind of reflects on the outside. That's how I see it anyway. I literally am obsessed with the shoes, although I can hardly walk in them if I'm being completely honest. Would I repeat this outfit? Honestly, the dress, yes. The shoes, as long as I wasn't walking too much, yes. The first thing I learned during this challenge is push through to find and wear the clothes you love, even if the trends are not normally shown on bigger bodies. Even if the industry makes it hard, just do it. But always stop if it's not feeling good anymore. And the second thing I learned is to make the clothes work for you, you know? Add accessories, get things tailored if you need to. You don't have to fit the clothes. The clothes need to fit you, do you know what I mean? And I hope that this video helps you see that you can still wear skinny fashion trends. You don't have to be skinny to wear them. Yeah.